Hello dear students, Asnath Rakun here. Welcome to today's English class, which will be about voice change. Today we will discuss voice change of gerund, participle and complex sentences. So let's start. First we will talk about gerund how to make passive of gerund so what is a gerund the gerund is nothing but a verb ing form base form with ing which works as a noun that is important to remember gerund it originates from a verb but it works as a noun when it is used in a sentence so how to change it into passive verb ing form will be changed into being plus v3 that means going will be changed into being gone okay so let's see let's look at some examples first of first look at here i don't like people laughing at me so this is our gerund laughing here so we get subject of the gerund and laughing at is our gerund and me is the object of gerund so we will not change i don't like this part will remain the same so i don't like will be the same here then we will change the gerund laughing at will become being loved at so me was to be here according to the usual rules but as our subject here i and me are same so we will not use me and another thing that people were supposed to be people were supposed to be here as object but we will also avoid people here because when a subject is people somebody someone like that we can avoid it so we'll not use it here so the sentence will be like i don't like being loved at. okay so the next example we managed to climb the tree without somebody seeing us so seeing this is our gerund here anybody is the subject to the gerund and us is the object of the gerund so we like the previous sentence we managed to climb the tree it will remain the same without then we will use being and then seen so for the same reason we will avoid use us using us we will not use us and also as the object we will not use anybody because this is not important to mention okay so important thing is we avoid being seen so that's how we can change gerund into passive so an, an important thing is that with this verb when gerund is used with this verb or gerund is used after these verbs advise propose suggest insist recommend urge plead request in that case it will be a bit different okay the passive will be a bit, a bit different so, so see uh, look at here he recommended using okay this is our gerund gerund the bulletproof class so what will you do in this case he recommended will be will remain the same then we'll use that then bulletproof object will make it into subject bulletproof glass should be used okay so the basic rule was to uh, make it into being plus v3 but here of if gerund is used after these verbs or with these verbs then we will use should be and then v3 okay so this is the difference and you should you have to remember these uh, verbs when these verbs uh, when gerund is used with these verbs so you have to m make the passive in this way okay 
so gerund of par present participle so what is present participle present part participle is also uh, the verb ing like gerund verb ing form but which works as an adjective that is the important thing also to hear also here to remember so this verb ing so when a verb ing form will work as an adjective in a sentence then we will call it um, present participle okay so see i saw him opening the gate this is our present participle here so we will not change present participle into passive we will change the other part before it okay so i saw him we get our subject i our verb saw and then our object him so we'll change he was seen opening the gate will remain same so when uh, you will get present participle in a sentence you will make it passive make it into passive in this way i hope you all get that okay so next move on to the next one so complex sentences most of you get scared or when you uh, hear complex sentence you normally think that complex sentence is really complex but it's not that complex if you understand it clearly okay so i think you have uh, bit ideas about some ideas about complex sentence what is a complex sentence is it is actually a sentence where there are two clauses at least which one of which is uh, independent and the other would be dependent so in that case this is a complex sentence so look at some examples how to change them into passive so first example look at here he told me this is the uh, independent part and independent clause that he had done the work this is the subordinate or dependent clause okay so we can uh, change the the independent clause first into passive because we get here he subject told object uh, verb and me object so i was told okay so he will not he use he here we will use it at the end of the sentence or we can avoid it also so then we will make this dependent clause into passive okay so that our object is the work so that the work had been done according to the rule of passive then we can use by him but it is not mandatory if we want to you can avoid this you can not mention it okay so the next one we know that he wrote the letter in this case you see we know and there is no object actually so in these cases we uh, guess that the object is it okay so we will may start the sentence with we begin the sentence with it as our subject it is known to us okay this part is finished then the next part that the letter will come into the position of subject was written by him okay so we will do passive separately for the two parts okay so moving on to the next one uh, sorry we can change it into uh, passive in three ways okay so that was the first one and also the uh, so in the second way we know that the, that he wrote the letter we, we can take the whole sentence as one and we can take we as the subject no as the verb and that he wrote the letter this whole dependent clause we can take it as an object of the verb no so in that case the passive would be that he wrote the letter okay we'll just replace it in the subject position is known 
two words okay this is one way to do it so the last one how can we do it we will take this part that he wrote the letter in the subject position but we can also change it into passive okay we know that so we can do that that the letter was written by him then is known to us so we can change these type of sentences into passive in three ways okay in three different ways you can do whatever which one you like okay the next one i saw the man who had broken the chair so i saw the man so here what will you do this is our object of the verb saw so we'll take it this is actually the whole object okay the man who had broken the chair so we'll take it take the whole part here in the subject position the man who and we can the man who broken the chair okay the whole part in the subject position this was the object this is the object and we make it into subject then c we make it into was seen and then we add by me so the man who had broken the chair was seen by me so like the previous one we can also change the voice of this part who had broken the chair okay so it can be done in this way the man by whom the chair had been broken was seen now we will use seen was seen by me so we can change this sentence into passive in two ways okay so look at the next example he proved that he has uh, sorry he was right so in this type of sentences as there is no uh, i mean object okay right it is the complement okay subject complement actually so when there is no object we cannot make it into passive so in this sentence we cannot change it into passive that he was right we cannot make it into passive so we'll take this whole part as the object of the verb and we will place it into the subject position okay that he was right then provided sorry proved we will make it into was proved and then we will add the object by him so the sentence will be that he was right was proved by him okay so the last sentence as she was ill she could not cook food so in the same way as she was ill this dependent part we don't have any object here ill is the subject complement again so this part will remain the same like the previous one as she was ill it will be placed here exactly as it is and then the next part independent part will change it into passive so she could not cook food we can write <coughs> food could not be cooked because we know model auxiliary okay b will be there and v3 from could not be cooked by her uh, if you want you can uh, leave this part okay you, if you want to cannot mention by her okay so this is all for today so this is how we change passive this is how we change the sentences with gerund and participle into passive and also complex sentences okay so i hope you will you get this point okay exercise a as much as possible then i hope you'll get the skill required skill in voice change so thank you all for watching this lesson hopefully we'll meet you in next class until then goodbye